Hello and welcome back to AJ Kitchen Paper. Today we are looking at Chikwa no Isobe. These strange looking cylinders are actually made out of fish and they are the Chikwa in the Chikwa no Isobe. Or as I like to call them, strange cylinder fish bits. It's tasty, I swear. Let's dive in. To start off, we're going to cut our Chikwa into diagonal slices to make them easier to eat. Because these are kind of long, you want to chop them in half just because, you know, easy to hold with chopsticks. Now that's done, shove them into a bowl because we got to get these babies ready to fry by coating them in starch. Pop three tablespoons in and then you're going to mixity mix as well as maybe a bit of a tossity toss. There you go, until everybody's nice and covered. Now just pop them to the side for the moment because we're going to make our batter. So just quickly in a small bowl, you're going to add five tablespoons of flour, a sprinkly sprinkle, of aonori or just seaweed and then five tablespoons of water. The aonori just gives us a little bit of saltiness as well as some flavour and a little bit of colour but if you don't have any handy you can always use something like parsley. Now give everybody a good mixity mix. Lovely! Now you've got your goopy batter you're going to pot everything into the bowl with your chikua. You want to just give them all a big mixity mix to make sure everybody's nice and coated we're keeping it very clean today with a spoon, not using our hands. Please be aware that not all chikawa are actually fully dead when you start to cook them, so they might be jumping out of your bowl. Prepped on, let's move over to the flame. Two tablespoons of sesame oil on a high heat. Heating it up. Now just spread out that oil until coating the pan. Heat up your cold fingies to make sure everybody's nice and warm. Looks about good. Alrighty, start shoving everybody in. So you just want to make this not overcrowded, you don't want them overlapping, but you'd like them to be, you know, having a snug time, basically. And you're just going to roll these over until they're nice and golden brown all over. So everybody gets a nice little bit of a roly-poly. This shouldn't take more than two minutes or so to get them all nice and browned off like this. Golden brown and out of the pan. And now it's time to plate up. So pop down some kitchen paper to soak up any excess oil. Then we're going to delicately place them all lined up on our little plate here. You might have noticed that we haven't put any salt on these. And that's because the El Nori gives you a nice little hint of saltiness. Now to go along with our chikua today, we're going to use mensuyu. Now this is a concentrated mensuyu, so we're going to add a little bit of water in to get that thumbnail. Today we're drinking a chin and tonic from Cocktail Partner. So chikua age is actually a bar food. So if you're drinking with friends or even just having a lonely sad beer. So you can add this relatively cheap and actually relatively healthy little dish to spice up any drinking sesh. These are so easy to make that just a word of warning. When you're a little bit tipsy, you might get a bit overconfident with the flame. So just be careful because we are using oil here to cook these. So next time you're lurking around the refrigerated aisle of your local Asian grocery store, maybe just pick up a packet of these and impress your friends or impress yourself. Alright, hope you have a go. Till next time. Almost forgot. <laughs>